expired in January of this year.
Jakes and then a really young Tom. Pretty sure it was that Tom from the other weekend, last weekend. Um, I just couldn't do it on the Jakes. And, and luckily I didn't. If I would have shot one of those Jakes, that Tom never would have came up here and never would have even had the chance. So, yes, I could have shot those Jakes. I was cool. They were pretty into the hand decoys I got out. I think if I would have had, maybe, maybe if I would have had a Jake out, that Tom would have came closer. Otherwise, he just kind of skirted me. He was following some hens right down that trail. They knew, they seemed like they knew where they wanted to go. And now they're out here in the field just feeding and messing around. So the fact that he was with some live hens really kind of hurt me there. But I imagine, give it a few hours here now and, uh, maybe 10, 10 ish, they'll probably kind of split up a little bit. I don't really like where they're walking. They're kind of just walking further away into a spot where they can't really, they're not really gonna pass me on the way back. So, I don't know. We'll keep sitting here and see see what happens. It's a little chilly and windy out here, so. All I can do is sit here and wait right now. You guys could see that. I'm gonna go see. Go see. Oh, jeez. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Look at what he just came up. Let's go get down to him. Let's go. That is awesome. He's been give he's been a pain in my butt for over a week now. Sitting here thinking about him all week. This is that turkey from last weekend that I just could not get to cooperate. And I couldn't get him to cooperate this morning either. I'm working my way down here. I had to get out of the ground blind and make a move on him. What a beautiful, beautiful bird. I battled this guy. I battled this guy for, geez, hold on. Let me get the camera set up here. I battled this guy all weekend, last weekend, and all morning this morning. I've been getting after this one. That is awesome. It's a younger Tom, but goodness. 
I got out of the ground blind and made a move on him. He was down in this bottom and he was just getting after it. So I made a move on him, moved down the ridge a little bit, stood by, sat behind a cedar. Hopefully you, you guys can maybe see what was going on, but got behind a cedar and gave a couple, a couple of yelps on my mouth call. He worked his way up this really steep ridge, popped his head up, he was hammering, and I let him have it. That is awesome. What a beautiful bird. What a beautiful bird, what an awesome hunt. It snowed this morning, twice. Not ideal weather, it's windy. And we got one in Nebraska, baby. One bird down. That is awesome. Just watched the footage again, why, for the first time. And you can see him and that is nuts. That is so crazy, that was solo filmed, somewhat spot and stock, run and gun. That's awesome. I'm so blessed to have that opportunity. I'm so blessed to be able to hunt in this spot. Just an amazing area. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy the hunt. Cause I know I did. I see, what what a special hunt. I'm ecstatic. I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check this guy in on my phone, and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna hunt this afternoon, get another tag, or wait until tomorrow and get after him again. I don't. I don't think there's any more toms in this area, so I think I'm gonna move to a different area if I do hunt this afternoon and tomorrow morning, but yeah, not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit here and sit here and soak it all in for a little bit, guys. What an awesome experience. Just, just phenomenal.